everybody welcome to a new tabs video and what we have today is a napoleonic fortress defense yes so as you can see we've got a napoleonic fortress here filled with british uh, british uh, infantry yeah i don't know what happened there and as you can see you've got some french soldiers assaulting this fortress so as, but as you can see the british has 64 soldiers while the french only have 25 so the french are going to start off with a huge uh, a huge disadvantage but as every round the french are going to increase their soldiers so stick around to the end of the video to see how many soldiers it takes for the french to overwhelm this fortress so actually i'm just going to start the battle and just let's see what happens so, as you can see, you've got this huge fortress with a sniper on top, all of these men in here. As you can see, it's almost like a pit. And these guys have some good moustaches. So, as you can see, there's a commander down here. But there's also these uh, Napoleonic soldiers for the French. So, obviously, you have Napoleon right here, who has the sword above him. Because if the British will only win when they defeat Napoleon. So, that is the idea of the battle today. So, let's just start off the battle and see what happens. So, as you can see, already all of the muskets are fired. And you can see all that smoke going out. And already, if you see, the front line of these French soldiers on this side is already starting to go down. But that is expected. They have a tiny fortress. But, Napoleon here... Napoleon, he is doing some jump kicks. So the idea is the, uh, the British have to defeat Napoleon. And when they do, this guy is going down. So I'm going to... Oh, they killed me. <laughs> so as you can see, Napoleon here was defeated. So even though there are a few French soldiers alive, since Napoleon's dead, the battle is over. But uh, if you remember, the British, uh, the French i going to have reinforcements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some French infantry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few here and a few here. And we're going to actually grab the super special line infantry, which has basically not got bayonets, but they reload faster. And they're going to be supporting uh, Napoleon here. Oopsie, that guy went through his butt. <laughs> and as you can see, now we have a few more soldiers. So... Now, now the uh, now the French have forty soldiers. Sorry, I put an extra forty soldiers, while the British have only sixty-four. But the British they want reinforcements too, so I'm gonna give them maybe two guys right here, and let's start the battle again. So I reckon uh, they're gonna be a lot more casualties on the. British side because obviously there's uh, almost twice as many soldiers so as you can see the British uh, the French here are gonna charge in from this back but I think the most uh, the biggest problem for them will be this huge uh, this force of guys here that guy's got a tiny eyeball uh, anyways this force of guys here will be the main trouble for the British as as you can see the majority of their forces are concentrated in the pit. So I reckon when those guys get in the pit, there's going to be instant death, basically. But, so again, I'm going to take control of Napoleon. I said, no, I didn't take control of Napoleon. But as you can see, in here, already this area of French guys is surviving so much longer than last time. I think... Actually, but the problem is, you see those fort walls, they're actually blocking the French from getting in because Tab's AI is a bit stupid, so they want to go in like this instead of just, you know, get out from the side. So as you can see, I made the sniper post up here, but it seems that these guys are both dead. So, if you see this pit down here, it is taking some casualties. But the French are down to their last few soldiers. And Napoleon here, he's not going to last much, I think. But how is he? Oh, yep, there he goes. Shot in the nuts. 
that guy's not having anything soon. Yikes, literally the guy got shot in the nuts. Anyways, so as you can see, the, uh, the French still couldn't make it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few of these French uh, soldiers. I'm gonna make an entire battalion of them here. So now they will have 55 soldiers. And I think what I'll do is I'll also put in a few line infantry there. So now they have 55 soldiers. But obviously the British, they need some reinforcements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in two of these British line infantry and uh so that's the british reinforcements not much but as you can see oh god that guy got punted into the stratosphere look at how many musket shots hit him the guy's literally been smacked into the wall i don't want to go like that ever but as you can see you've got this force of uh many french soldiers here who are hope who are hopefully gonna take out this bit but as you can see there are a few walls here but i reckon uh the british i think the french are gonna get into the pit as you saw last time they almost did napoleon that it seemed like the french did so much worse napoleon already died so that's weird uh that napoleon you're a bit stupid you're supposed to you're not supposed to dive right into where the fire is anyway as you can see the french they did significantly worse that time. So what I'm going to do is I've got these jesters. And they've basically got every type of dodge in the game. And they also are pretty fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a bunch of jesters. Okay. And these and this bunch of jesters should hopefully be enough to overwhelm. Wait, do we have a child jester? Okay, we've got we've got we've got wizards here. Okay, the French are wizards because they're floating jesters here. How are the French floating? That is crazy. That's probably a glitch. But the reason I came here was the French jester charge, right? So hopefully this jester charge on the side can overwhelm this position. And this time we're not actually gonna give the british any reinforcements so let's start the battle and let's just see what happens i'm gonna put this into slow motion and if you see the jesters they are supposed to be super duper fast so as you can see they're already making it in there so they might take some casualties but i'm pretty sure they will storm the entire place and i think this will be the last one because you see this this is terrifying this is absolutely terrifying who would want to see this coming at you like this is what the french want like look at this this is basically how to like get rid of the english that is that who would want a huge bunch of jesters coming at you so as you can see the jesters they're gonna make it through oh though they are getting bottlenecked as you can see through this hole but as you can see, wow, there's some giants. That guy's a giant. And as you can see, they just dodged all those bullets. So they're kind of funny. But as you can see, they all pile up. But the idea is that those jesters, they make it in there. And they absolutely wreak havoc in this little French fortification. So as you can see, the jesters, they're getting in there. And this will absolutely change the way the game works. Because that distracts all of the people from Napoleon there. So this should hopefully be a game changer. But as you can see, the, the jesters, they've got a huge pile of jesters in here. So yeah, that's weird. I was expecting them to do a lot, lot, lot better than that. As you can see, that jester just got slapped by this guy with the bayonet. Though, I, f I completely forgot about the line of French infantry. So you got this huge French infantry division basically. You're gonna make it in there. I said you're gonna make it in there. These guys are getting absolutely clumped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take control of this guy. And I'm actually gonna make, wait it out here. And hopefully now 
they learn to get out as you can see you've got this huge french infantry division basically but it's all stuck here all all the jesters look at the amount of jest i'm actually going to take control of one of these jet i got control of this guy that's weird i was inside a jester pile how did i get yeah look look now now i'm a i'm a soldier so i'm going to actually back up right and hopefully i can get the kill on somebody It's impossible to steer. There's so many guys. The lag is crazy, though. Yeah, the lag is abs. When you've got many, many units, the lag is absolutely crazy. So, but this time, the French seem to be surviving because where's Napoleon? As you can see, Napoleon is still alive back here, firing his trusty pistol. Though I don't think that's where the British are. Napoleon might to work on, might need to work on his aim. But as you can see this huge bunch of British soldiers is now going to get punted by these guys hopefully who should maybe you guys can make it in there. Can't you guys actually make it? I'm going to actually take control of this guy. Why are you guys all bottlenecked here? Just move out. Yeah, as I said, tap the AI. a bit stupid so i think i'm going to actually end the battle because that would go on forever with those guys stuck behind the wall but this is getting a bit boring so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually take out the french infantry here and basically i think the, this would be a total this will be a total roll of them i'm just going to put down like 112 soldiers look they've got 118 How have they not yet won this? This is absolutely crazy. So hopefully these guys they will get the shots in, and hopefully the pit of uh, British soldiers in here can get defeated. They're seriously not getting defeated. Though if you see this post of uh, snipers has been absolutely wrecked. That guy. Hey, Is this guy another wizard? We've got another wizard. The guy is floating, Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, anyways, as you can see, you've got this huge clump of French soldiers. I'm pretty sure this will be able to absolutely wreck the Germans. Oh, sorry, Germans! Yikes, the British! I'm going crazy. So as you can see here if we peek behind this wall here if i can get to it through all the piles of bodies hopefully this place hopefully the jesters don't get absolutely bottleneck as you can see the jesters again they're getting in there and they're going absolutely hopefully this time the jesters do a lot better because i was, i really thought they were going to win it last time around so i'm actually going to unpause time and as you can see it's very laggy and in the but this time red victory oh they defeated napoleon as you can see that's a weird thing that can happen so since the french aren't winning i'm going to actually take out all the french soldiers right and what i'm going to do is actually i'm just going to bomb rush them with a billion and i mean a bazillion of these line infantry I'm pretty sure if this doesn't make them win, nothing is going to make them win. Like I'm going to put down I'm going to put down 80 line infantry, right? And then we put down two Napoleons, the like Napoleons to win. Nah, that doesn't make sense. So as you can see, they've got almost twice the money. They should totally win this. Though I guess the defender's advantage is pretty strong. So The video is getting longer and longer by the minute. Literally these guys are getting absolutely stronger. But as you can see, there is now a huge rushing of these guys and hopefully that would be enough to overwhelm that this. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take control of one of these English soldiers and I'm going to try make it out of this pit or like shooting someone. Ah, I missed. That's 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 reasonable. So as you can see, there's a lot of glitch. I think that that the the commander of this army is going a bit crazy. He drank a bit too much beer, I think. 
Anyways, as you can see, you've got this huge rushing of soldiers, and maybe this will be able to wreck this uh, cloud of British soldiers, really. So, as you can see, they've almost made it in there. And it's, oh wow, the rifles are going flying. But the problem is, not all, still, already, they're all getting clumped up. Right, right here, all of these soldiers are clumped up. But as you can see, the pit is absolutely devastated, full of red bodies. Look at the pit, it's gone. I'm pretty sure they're down now. They're down to the last soldier. And there we go. Finally. Finally. After all those waves and a crazy amount of French soldiers. They finally overwhelmed mm -hmm. this British position. And this guy. I think that was the last guy. But as you can see. It's almost like a family portrait with guns. There's a huge amount of them. But finally. The British fortress has been taken down. So I hope you like this extra short video. And this joke it was really long. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe and ring that bell so that you don't miss another upload. And thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Bye!